I am absolutely ecstatic. Uh, I can't believe it's finally here. Four years feels like it's flown by, but I am well, just chuffed to be here, to be able to graduate with my friends. Um, I suppose I'm really sad to be leaving. Happy that I've finished all the hard work, but I'm really excited about the future and getting a job and yeah, life after Bangor is exciting. <laughs> You're surrounded by some really great prime examples of forests like Gwydir, Betsy Coyd and when I came for an open day I met the lecturers, I met the staff in the School of Natural Sciences and it just felt so nice, it felt like a family and that's something that I can say four years later it's definitely still a family and it had such, everyone was so welcoming um, and yeah it just it feels like such a natural place to study the studying is amazing the academic side is amazing but then there's all the extracurricular stuff you can get outside there's so many different clubs music outdoor sports it, it's got everything it's been amazing <laughs> i've been studying forestry and it's such an incredible course such a varied you study you cover everything from environmental management all the way through to specific kind of site requirements for managing a forest and either that be for production and creating timber or for managing it for wildlife benefits or for public recreation and there's been a real great mix of, we've had some lecture times, we've had some great um, tutorials and seminars, we get to talk with our peers and our lecturers and have a bit more of a discussion. Um, and then we've been on some really incredible field trips, had a field course all the way across the UK, we went to place in Wales and Scotland and down to the Duchy of Cornwall Estate, which is an amazing experience. And there's loads of field trips we've done on the doorstep down to Cumbidwell. Um, so it's been a really, really massive wide mixture of indoor, outdoor, and just getting to talk with people who are like-minded, it's been really good. Tree Sparks is a social enterprise I set up during my placement year um, with the help of Be Enterprising and the Employability Services and it's all about trying to encourage more young people to consider studying and going into forestry for careers but also helping current students upskill in things like presentation and social media management which they don't learn in the classroom and I've been really lucky to have support of Bangor and my lecturers and Be Enterprising and they've helped me do some amazing things, we've, we've done national pitching events, we've been to London, we've been to Cardiff, we've been everywhere in between and it's, yeah, that's a tree sparks basically. <laughs> when I came to start my placement year I suffered my first seizure and um, I suddenly got kind of thrown into this uncertainty of not being allowed to study, not being well enough to study or work um, and it was really difficult because I didn't know what was going on, I didn't know what was wrong with me um, but it, the support I've had from the university has been incredible um, so even though I had to take a year away and I had to kind of leave Bangor for a short period of time, the uni was still there even though I was 250 miles away. I had support from my academic staff, who kept me up to date so I didn't miss any, any lectures, they recorded everything for me. I had support from my personal tutor, my senior tutor who helped make sure that my long term health condition wouldn't affect my grades, and wouldn't affect how I studied um, and that was the same with disability services. I had loads of help from the employability services to try and find a job that was right for me and they helped with how to write an effective CV and how to find graduate jobs. Um, there was even people I wouldn't even expect to come into contact with, so you've got Be Enterprising who've helped me develop a business which when I started is something I would never imagine would have happened. Um, even people like the, the people in the corporate communications department have helped me promote things over social media and they've been really really helpful, um, set up filming for me um, and you know even security are happy, they just say hello, they, they're really, everyone's so friendly and I think without if the university hadn't been so supportive, I definitely wouldn't be graduating today over first. And I think without them, it really does feel like a family. So it's sad to be leaving, but I feel like I've got, I can now cope myself because the uni showed me how to cope. I didn't realise how many options there were studying forestry. Um, so I'm really lucky that in two weeks' time, I'll be starting a year's placement at Chatsworth, the estate in Chatsworth, as the trainee forester. So I get to spend a year there shadowing the lead forester, learning everything I need to know about how to be a forester because I've got loads of the classroom, I've got all the knowledge and now it's just a case of putting it into practice. So I'm really excited to be able to say that I'm graduating as a forester and I will become a forester. Um, I'm really hoping to keep my business tree spots going on the side and hopefully after I've kind of got my career going, I'll be able to promote this amazing course and the amazing profession to more young people.